What is going on, everyone? Today, the day we're filming is September 25th, my scheduled day for Raymond Auto Body to get the front and rear body damage done from the accidents that I've recently been in. So let's head to the body shop now and see what we get for a rental. All right, here we are at Raymond Auto Body. Let's get in and get checked in. All right, so here is my rental. It is a 2020 Nissan Altima SR. It's provided for me by my insurance company, State Farm. Uh, through Enterprise, and they were right there at Raymond Auto Body waiting for me, so that worked out great. This is definitely going to be different than driving the truck around, but with gas prices going up, I really don't mind having something with better MPG, and I don't plan on using the truck to do any towing or hauling for a little while yet, so we should be good. Okay, everyone, it is now November 5th. We are back at Raymond Auto Body. There's a pretty cool Audi here. And the Ram is finally all complete. Let's take a look at it. The Beast is back in our possession. And as I figured, it feels friggin' huge after driving that car for a month and a half. So quiet. I had them replace, I'm sorry, I had them take my Borla exhaust off after they straightened it out. And uh, of course I'm low on fuel, why wouldn't I be? <laughs> I had them replace it with the stock exhaust because I do plan on trading this in or selling it. So it's so quiet right now. I'm not used to that. All right, guys, it's pretty windy out today, but I can't wait. <laughs> I have to show you this thing looks beautiful. Like I almost don't want to sell it now. Looks very, very nice. I'm very happy with how it turned out. We're going to go over everything right now. As you can see the hood, they, they replaced the, uh, bug shield the hood is replaced repainted new emblems there uh, they repainted the fender and the door i think didn't mess with the bumper at all but new headlights both new headlights new grill all that stuff let's see uh how the hood opens it popped no problem Oh man, they even cleaned it up in the engine bay for me. Looks like everything's lined up how it should be. The hood gap is as consistent as it was from the factory. Both sides. It's a little bit bigger here, but honestly it wasn't perfect from the factory either. All the headlight stuff here is all lined up. No issues there. They did have to repaint here because if you remember correctly, the door was rubbing. I'll post in the video description my uh, walk around video of all the damages before I brought this in if you haven't seen it. And then coming to the back here, we got a new tail light, repainted the tailgate, all new emblems, had them, uh, they had to replace the bumper. Had them put my stock exhaust back on since I am getting ready to sell it. So this thing is super quiet right now. Can't even tell it's running. All the sensors and housing and everything replaced. All looks good, good clearances. tailgate also used to rub there so let's check that <laughs> there's the old headlights and the exhaust there but everything's good there no rubbing latches just like it should this is definitely the cleanest the truck has been in a while it looks very very good so a big shout out to joel at raymond auto body uh he was great the whole time uh you know like they said they had my truck for quite a while, which I knew that was going to happen. It was a little over a month, but there was quite a bit of stuff. I will go over the receipts here in a minute, but he was great to deal with, very good at communicating, uh, very attentive and listened to everything that I wanted and, and made it happen. So, and then Matt is the one that did the actual work. So I um, wanted to thank both of them guys for doing a great job. And there's no orange peel going on on the paint either guys, which is really important to me. That's why I wanted to go to a, a good quality body shop on this. So I'm not going to go line by line here, but here's all the items and labor and parts and all that that they had to put into it. This is for when I got rear-ended, so the other guy's fault. 
uh, the total was $6,700 for that repair in the rear to do the bumper, the tailgate, the tail light, all that stuff. And then my four mile an hour whoopsie, that was my fault. Ready for it? 9,600 for the hood and the active grill shutters in the front, two new headlights, all that crap. Four miles an hour, $9,600. That's over $16,000 in damage combined. So this stuff adds up really quick, guys. And it is gonna cost more when you go to a higher quality place like this, but it's worth it. Um, you know, again, Joel was great. They blueprinted everything. They worked with State Farm. They got me all OEM parts. And you know, if the insurance company was arguing with something, they, you know, they got it done. They made it happen. So we got all factory parts on this thing. It was done right. And, you know, I only had to pay the $500 deductible for my portion of it. So really the total cost doesn't matter to me. My insurance pays for that. Uh, of course, my insurance will go up a little bit because of this, but it is what it is. But I just wanted to give a shout out to Raymond Auto Body again, especially Joel and Matt. They did a great job. And uh, this thing looks great. So there's the Borla exhaust. Somehow, <laughs> it looks like both bolts broke off in said exhaust, which is kind of hilarious because this is a stainless kit. So apparently these bolts are just really friggin' chintzy because they're only three years old. That's kind of sad. I'm gonna have to get those out somehow. And then here's what a headlight assembly looks like, fully out of a ram, if you're curious, how busted the heck. The main part of it's fine, but yeah. Little computers for each one bolted to the bottom. Not sure how much these headlights run, but I'm sure they're not cheap. Now we're gonna go to the dealer, probably on Monday, see what this thing is worth for trade-in. I checked uh, Kelly Blue Book online, the other night and uh, in good condition with this miles and how this one is loaded. Uh, it says trade-in is worth like 37 to 39 or 36 to 39, somewhere in there. And private party is in the 40 to 44 range. So I believe I owe 36 on it now that my final payment or one of my last payments came out. And uh, 3000 of that is my aftermarket warranty, which I think is transferable or I can cash it out. So. If they offer me 36,000, as long as they cancel out this and I don't have to take a hit, uh, I'm probably gonna trade this in like a, on a Grand Cherokee if I can find one that uh, is loaded how I want it. But just wanted to do this little update video. It's probably going to be the last video featuring the Ram uh, in, unless I do one on the day that I sell it or trade it in or whatnot, but um, it looks great. Wanted to thank them guys again, and I'm just glad to have it back. It feels really weird. It's a lot bigger than that Nissan rental that I had, but it feels good to be back in it. And I am excited to be able to move on with future plans. So thanks for watching guys. Like this video if it helped you out at all. Comment down below with any questions. I'll post uh, the auto body down in the video description if you wanna check them out and you're local to the Twin Cities area here in Minnesota. Check me out on all my socials and check out my other videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.